Nothing beats Hong Kong style chow mein. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, smothered in that gravy. This is so good. Start by prepping your vegetables and aromatics, then marinate whichever protein you'd like. We're going with shrimp and chicken in a quick 15 minute marinade with soy sauce, oyster sauce, white pepper, sesame oil, salt, and cornstarch. Set those aside while we blanch our chow mein noodles for 30 seconds in boiling salted water. Drain to get those as dry as possible, then pan fry in oil to get that crispy exterior. Next, get your pan ripping hot and sear your chicken until about three quarters of the way done, then add your shrimp and cook through. Set those aside and cook your aromatics along with your vegetables until they get some nice color. Then add chicken stock, white pepper, MSG, sugar, and Shaoxing wine. Combine your protein back into the mix and add your cornstarch slurry to thicken and combine it all together. Top over your noodles and enjoy. Oh,今天你最有秋天的感覺了 we're making Hong Kong French toast, Sai Da Si for my Canto speakers out there. Start with two slices of white bread. The traditional filling is peanut butter, but you can add your favorite jam too. To make your egg batter, add egg, salt, sugar, and some vanilla. Beat the egg really well so no egg white is showing and coat both of the sides with egg. Add a generous amount of oil and butter on a medium heat pan, then toast both sides until the bread is golden. Hong Kong French toast is topped with condensed milk instead of your usual maple syrup. Enjoy the toast with milk tea and you have the perfect Hong Kong breakfast or dessert. Waited 45 minutes for the best dim sum in London. Let's learn how to say these dim sum in Cantonese. Follow for more! Have some dim sum beancurt roll, xin jok First, mash the tofu, mix in the mushrooms and vegetables, cut the tofu skin into squares, add the filling, wrap into a spring roll, don't overfill, and seal all the openings with a slurry. Shallow fry till golden brown, make the umami sauce, thicken it with cornstarch, spoon the sauce onto the rolls, finally steam for 10 minutes. Ta-da! Look at that yum! Wow, whole sick uh. Just like my favorite dim sum place. So good! Try some? Let's make Watan Ho. Flat rice noodles. Add a little bit of dark soy and light soy. And boom, that's it. Now plate your noodles, a little bit of oil, cook this for one minute, put it aside. Now on the wok, add chicken stock, 
Try some. The meat's back in. Now add a little bit of yum yum. Cornstarch to thicken. A little bit of egg. And stir it in. White pepper. Fried onions. Let's make dumplings. Flour, water, mix. Ah! Once it forms a dough, just let it chill out for 10 minutes. Now I'm just gonna knead it. Ginger and garlic. Soy sauce, sesame oil. Ah, cooking caramel. White pepper, salt, cornstarch. Press down on the center first, then you're going to roll out the edges. Filling, fold it in half, pleat towards the center. Ta-da! <laughs> Please don't make any sudden moves. Now they're ready to fry. You're going to cook all the dumplings until the bottom is crispy golden brown. Add water and cover. Thank you for these dumplings that we can have. God, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Have you tried fried rice like this before? This is golden egg fried rice, also known as gum wan tao fan. You can add egg yolks to room temperature rice and mix well. The rice becomes more golden colored and has a richer taste. Prep the ingredients by chopping Chinese broccoli stems and Chinese sausage, lap chang in Cantonese. In high heat, add oil and your separated egg whites. Fry and set aside. Next, fry your Chinese sausage or you can use your favorite protein and set aside. Add your mixed yolk rice and fry until the rice isn't stuck together. Next, add your Chinese broccoli and the sausage you sauteed earlier. Mix and fry for a couple of minutes. Add some soy sauce and some sugar. Add back the egg whites and chopped green onions. Do a final stir and you're done. Fry this rice if you haven't already. Growing up, I remember falling asleep to the sound of my parents making these noodles for tomorrow's breakfast. Start with 200 grams of all-purpose flour and 100 grams of water. Once combined, knead it for 5 minutes. Cover and let it rest for 30 minutes. We're going to knead it twice and rest it twice, which will give us chewier noodles. After 30 minutes are up, take your dough and knead it for another 5 minutes and let it rest for another 5 minutes. Know you did the dough right if you can stretch it out and you can see light through it, like this. And roll it out to a square about half an inch thick and cut into 3 separate pieces. Cover with oil and then let it chill in the fridge for at least an hour in an airtight container. When you're ready to eat, roll out a piece until it doubles in width. Then using the back of a knife, make an indentation right in the middle, but not cutting all the way through. Then the fun part. Gently hold both ends and then slowly pull apart while hitting it against the surface. Then grab the center and tear right down the middle. And then you can boil them for two minutes and put them in whatever you like. Bet you want to know how I made them. This is not meth. Watch them load up this plate. I'm so hungry. I'm so, I'm so hungry. I need food. I'm so hungry. I'm so, I'm so hungry. What it do? I'm hungry. I'm really, really hungry. Whoa, that's a big boy. Something, something in my stomach. I'm so hungry. I'm so, I'm so hungry. Chicken soup. I'm so hungry. I'm so, I'm so hungry. Cook the stew. I'm hungry. I'm really, He keeps going. Not complaining, though. Something in my stomach. Panda Express Who
Let's make some crispy sesame chicken with a sticky delicious sauce that has a lot of flavor. To your chicken thigh pieces, add 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce with some salt and black pepper. Then add an egg with some cornstarch and give it a good mix. You will need to marinate your chicken for at least 20 minutes before the next step. In a separate bowl, add some potato starch and evenly coat your chicken before frying it. When you're frying the chicken, make sure to use an even temperature. This is optional but highly recommended. You can double fry your chicken so it's extra crispy. And now it's time to make the sauce. To a bowl, add some chicken stock. Then go in with 6 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 3 tablespoons of ketchup, 2 tablespoons of sesame oil, and lastly, 2 tablespoons of white vinegar. For the next step, heat up a pan to medium heat. Then as usual, go in with some Spebbles chili oil for extra aroma and flavor. Fry up the white part of spring onions for a few seconds, and then go in with your sauce mix. Once your sauce comes to a boil, add your cornstarch slurry. Gently mix it until you see this beautiful, sticky, glossy sauce. Then season your sauce with some salt and add all of your fried chicken. Once your fried chicken is evenly coated with the sauce, you can go ahead and add some roasted sesame seeds. We enjoyed this crispy sesame chicken for dinner with some hot rice and it was amazing. I am having trouble blowing up my small business so if this is on your for you page please interact with it. Yeah.